So hi guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. We're thank good. You. Hope it wasn't tough getting here. No. Nah. No, it actually wasn't. I feel like you wanted to say something, but because you said no. No, because Ashley slept in the car. That's why it wasn't tough. I was just like, wait, we actually just got here in record time. Oh, I was asleep. See, there are only two reasons why I would be on the mainland to travel and for pulse. Aww. So. Aww. Aren't you just the sweetest? See, I'm the sweet one. Aren't you just the liar? <laughs> <laughs> it's been crazy. Up, down, left, right. Just madness. But it's been absolutely amazing. I've loved every part of my journey. 10 years. It's going to be 10 years next year. Oh, wow. Yes, baby. Respect. Oh. Old. No, I'm experienced. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm a baby in this industry, uh, but so far, so good. No one has been, I don't know, you hear a lot of stigma about like the media industry and everything, but I haven't seen the bad sides yet. I know they're coming, but I'm prepared for it. I have somebody like Moe in my corner, right? You fuck yes. them up, right? They come for me. I will mess up anyone that comes for this girl. The only person allowed to come for her is me. I'm the only person, anybody else. Um, well, actually it's been like two years, two, three years. Fish, oh, wait, wait, okay, wait. Yeah, three years since I've been properly in the industry. Mm. No, not at all. When people eventually meet me in person, they realize I am nothing like Mumi. They just see that we might look alike, we may sound alike sometimes, and we have the same surname, but that's, really the only similarities that's all, we have. <laughs> that's all the similarities like even though we're both leos as well moe is very like confident upfront, and i am more reserved more laid back it's only when i feel comfortable in a scenario before you now finally hear my voice yeah. but she has I'm, really loud things to say painful things mostly about you but that's that's it but Duh. other than that i'm a sweetheart <laughs> so no i have no problems with that Oh wow, okay, um, let's go all the way back to when I was in uni. No, when I was, yeah, my third year of uni, I sort of felt like, oh, this is not really what I want to do. I was studying law at the time, um, but I just carried on. Um, but somehow, I don't know, like, I feel like it was like a, a prophecy. I always tell people this and people don't believe this, but it is what it was. I always kept on saying that I wanted to work at Sound City crazy mm -hmm. like i don't know i just I did a little bit of research and i just found out okay that there were you know two sort of station or tv channels that were sort of popping off at the time and that was sound city and at that time also silver but and i was like mm, let's weigh my options and i really just wanted sound city because i loved the idea that it was about music and yeah came back moved back um and literally a month after i moved back went for an audition and i got the job hey that's how stars do yeah, how bad bitches do. Ah, <sighs> how did I start? Well, funny enough, I actually started in CMA as well, where Sound City is, but I started off at Spice. Mm -hmm. So mine was random. Like I was in first year of uni, um, part of my journalism course, we had to do um, like four weeks work experience. And I happened to be going to Nigeria that summer. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm in media. <clears throat> Most precisely, I want to be in entertainment. And like she said, where are the popping places? Mm -hmm. And one of the popping places was CMA. So didn't want to connect, found my way in there. And like you probably said, everybody thought Moe got me in there. And I was like, no, I didn't even know this girl when I got in there. She didn't. I didn't even know her. We literally just met as adults, by the way. Yeah. And that's what our podcast, in a sense, actually is trying to show people that you can be family members, but it doesn't have to be something that's forced upon you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of family members that you end up being close to because you, it was almost forced upon you. Mm -hmm. But we literally decided to become close on our own terms and when we were adults. Yeah, well, she's not that bad. Let me give her a chance. Yeah, yeah. and that's basically what happened. <laughs> Why did you look at me like that? Like, because <sighs> I didn't know what you were going to say. Because there's okay, two well, stories. There's so many that like, we, we met at different 
times in our lives. When did we become cool? But we became cool as adults, like mm-hmm. I said. Um, we became cool. I was 18. Yes. And I was doing work experience mm-hmm. at, I always like to say CMA because it wasn't Sound City. <laughs> it was Spice, but it's all the same thing. But yes, in the same building. And I remember the day you walked up to me. I think you did it on purpose, but you never admitted. Mm-hmm. I think Mr. Touch had just told you that I worked there oh, because okay. we didn't know each other. You walked up behind me and you, you didn't talk to me or you were talking to somebody else. In my mind, I'm like, Nicole, just say hi to her. And I was just like, hi. <laughs> and you were like, oh, you're my cousin, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. You were like, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. And that was how we met. So I had to do that on purpose. Because like you could have gone anywhere else, but I feel like you came next to me just yes. so we could I do that try a lot. and talk but not I talk. I do that. It's, so it's, like, it's okay, a thing I do. She has come close. Nicole, you talk. Exactly. So I was like, hello. Yeah, I, I, I knew I sort of you helped the you same to come into my world. And you helped know? me to do what? Because I'm very attractive. Like my world's you attracted attractive. yourself to me. So you just you came into my world. So anyway. I just put myself there, like, wait, I'm here. <laughs> oh my god, she just kept on disturbing me and following me and saying she wants to be my friend and she loves me. Like lies. she's obsessed with me. Actual lies. I was I... there for a month and I went back to uni. <laughs> graduated. I didn't talk to her my rest of the two years <laughs> as I was in uni. Why? Why do I need to know a goddess? Why? <laughs> Then I graduated, came back to Nigeria, and because I still wanted to be in the media industry, I started doing NYSE, and I was like, ah, they're not going to post me to some dirty school. I want to go back to CMA. Mm-hmm. And I went back there, and I was like, oh my God, hey, cuz. Sis cuz. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, we just started hanging out. We started okay. hanging out. And then I think you then started working at Scar Radio, and mm-hmm. I noticed that we had, she interviewed me, and our connection was so good. So I was like, hmm, why don't we do a show together? So that was how we birthed Spill the Tea with the Babies. Oh, you go. Spill the Tea with the uh, Babies. It is a visual podcast with the both of us as co-hosts. And we just touch on issues relating to young people, not just here, but also in the diaspora. Issues we face um, within ourselves, cultural issues, drug related issues relationship issues just things, social economic everything yeah things that not everybody would want to talk about mm. we like to talk about it <laughs> while drinking, Whilst drinking some tea yes <laughs> must remember that part okay. sometimes well, the tea spills tea it's not always tea is it special <laughs> tea a whole lot and i know people keep on still getting it you got it i'm sure mm-hmm. i got it like for a whole like i think for literally about like seven years people honestly believed that i put on an accent i think people even still believe so yeah to be honest i've, I've given up i'm just like whatever believe what you want to believe but i know where i went to school i know who i hung out with i know where i like i know i know i know where this accent comes from yeah. so and also because like like, I understand broken English, but I don't necessarily speak it all the time because people take the piss out of me if I'm like, hey, how about? <laughs> and everything. Your so broken people, English my sucks. My broken English sucks. Mine's yeah. better. Alpha, how you do? Is that how you got? Like, no, so that's easy. basic. Waiting the pop. <laughs> Waiting the sop. Waiting the sop. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, just because I don't speak broken English all the time, people don't think I'm necessarily a Nigerian. I don't have a typical Nigerian accent, so, oh, this one, she's never me. Beg, she's never me. Well, she's ginger. Right. Yes. All the time. All the prices go up. Why? Because they think I don't know better. So they just want to swindle me. Poor little old me. Do I have money? What are they swindling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. July 27th. It's going to be on YouTube. It's gonna be on Audio Mac, Spotify, it's gonna all be. the places you can yeah. listen to a podcast. Also, Instagram, just for the first like season, because we really just want like people to watch. So yeah, you can watch on YouTube, you can watch on Instagram. But season two, it's gonna be on the only platform that we go for. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, it will be a big season two. Just gonna be bigger and better. Just hopefully, it will be Netflix. I can cross anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have guests. We have we have a Quite fantastic a lineup of guests talking about Should very we fill interesting. Them in a couple. Yes, let's let's fill them in. Which one was your favorite? 
Ah, uh, mine was definitely Yasmin. Yeah, you always say that. I always say that because I loved that episode. We spoke about money and just basically the future of money and where it's going. Mm. Yasmin, you know. Yes, Yasmin Bello Osage. She yes. um, is the CEO of She Leads Africa. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that was a really really nice interview. We also had Osas speaking about you know relationship dynamics, how um, you know young people are bre- how young people break up, how they deal with breakups, um, how they deal with different types of relationships. Mm-hmm. Her own personal take. She spilled some tea as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. That was definitely my favorite one. We also had um, Sharon Kuti spoke about drugs. We had Sandra Zekwasili who spoke about um, consent. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Venita. Yes, Venita Vizi. Um, we had for beauty standards and how beauty standards are changing. Pretty, Pretty Mike. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what women really want. <laughs> That's one that I'm definitely looking forward to. So, yeah. mm-hmm. We had a good lineup. So. The chemistry, the, how we react with each other, and mm-hmm. honestly. You're going to learn things in a different way. It's not just a sit down. Let's discuss. We're no. also having fun. And I feel like you will have fun watching us yep. and learning. Mm. And we really are not that serious. We take the piss out of ourselves yeah. all the time. And each other. She takes the piss out of me more. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to deny it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> but yeah, I feel it's really our connection. What we are discussing, how we are discussing it. And also our special tea. <laughs> special tea reveals a lot. It really does. <laughs> what do you like to know? We can't tell you. Secret <laughs> ingredients and all. But it definitely gives you a little bit of liquid courage. Yeah, the confidence you might be lacking yes. in the bedroom and otherwise. <laughs> My face is so straight. So I As in. <laughs> Well, we, we have a lot of segments. Um, well, not that many, but different segments. Mm-hmm. I feel like the one that everyone's going to love is who is the better a baby? That's when we literally go head to head mm-hmm. against each other. And yeah, you have to watch the whole season to know who actually just ended guess, up being just guess the better a baby. You think? Obviously, it was me. Okay. Okay. Cool. You see, when you just know, you don't have to have an ego. I just know. So I'm just like, cool. You can say whatever you need to say. Here. Either way. You just have to watch it to know <laughs> who really was the better baby. And then we also have the confession corner where we have um, people calling in, uh-huh. um, sharing some of their secrets, spilling some tea, spilling lots of tea. And we don't necessarily advise; we just put in our two cents. Yeah, if exactly. that makes sense. So I really, really like that, and I, and I really wanted that most especially because I feel like with most shows, whenever there, you know, these confession corners and all these calls, you always have somebody that just sit down and be like, oh yes, you should do this. I'm gonna be boss. Bimbo, make sure you don't do it, you know? No, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> what did you like? Oh, yeah, oh, so you did that? Oh, Jeez. I've not done that. <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> so, yeah, we've got that. Um, what other um, one do we have? Um, I feel like the games is what is just really, like, mm-hmm. awesome. Like, it, it totally breaks the ice. Even the guests, all our guests that came on, they were like, yeah, like, can we play some more games? And yeah, it was nice. Well, to be honest, um, yeah, I feel like we did make a nice effort, a good effort when it comes to... Why be so modest? We, we killed that <laughs> shit. We killed it. We have a beautiful set. It's very appealing to the eye. Yes, very And pink. a beautiful girl sitting in the set that are also very appealing to the eye. Yeah, our fashion was on point as well. It was. I liked it. I liked that it wasn't too much, but it wasn't like just drab because one of you have the vibe that you're coming into our living room just mm-hmm. sit down and have a chat with us mm-hmm. which is why we start the first episodes in our pajamas PJs, you know because come on in for a little girl chat yes <laughs> it's absolutely amazing i love it I, like, I can't wait i can't wait i'm so excited why not that's that's like what's in a sense trending right about mm-hmm. now um and i feel like it's a long time coming especially for me mm-hmm. um and i've always wanted to work with nicole like since okay. the first day that we met i literally was like okay so you're about to go to film school right yeah yeah she did say that go let's to go to america school. one learn everything learn everything let's walk together. come back and let's work together and that's literally what she's done so of course yeah, we expose a lot like, too much wait for the sex education part oh, too no. much we find out so much no, about no, this no, girl because no, 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 i've already told the editor the things that to this some. girl likes why, why why are you doing this as a <laughs> I just see some horrible things. What? <laughs> My mind is quite dirty right now. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Exactly. But yeah, we need to talk to the editor. We need to cut some things Mm-mm. out. We're keeping all that information. Yeah. She likes really nasty things. You know what? Oh yes, I cried God. at the end. I yeah, cried. She cried. 
because I really felt like I had achieved something, mm. which I actually have. Because it's one thing to just talk about an idea, but then mm-hmm. we'd come to the last episode of what we had been thinking about, and you're just like, wow, you actually did it. And I'm a I bad really, bitch, so I And I cry, really, but... really got like emotional because obviously she decided to go on this journey with me. Oh, thank you for asking me. Yeah. Are you crying again? No. Calm down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people's perspectives are going to change on even the said topics, you mm-hmm. know, because when you do watch it and you then actually see how we are, in a sense, dissecting it, and we are not being judgmental in any way, we're just, you know, showing all the different, you know, sides and different things. I feel like it's going to really, really, like, make people really, like, take a seat back and mm-hmm. just be like, hmm. Huh. You know, I never ever thought about it that way. I feel like that's really what the podcast is. And I feel like if you can come away from every episode with a few laughs and feeling like you learned at least one thing, Mm -hmm. then you've done then we've done our job set out to do. Yeah.